Buenas tardes, eh, os hablamos desde el Instituto de Osteopatía Clásica en Dorking, en Inglaterra y dentro del programa de Amigos del Instituto de Osteopatía Clásica hoy tenemos el placer, el gusto de, eh, de hablar con Tim Sparrow Tim Sparrow eh, se graduó en el 1990 del John Wennon College y um, ha estado apoyando al Instituto de Osteopatía Clásica en España eh, durante los últimos cinco años, ha estado dando unas clases y ayudando a los estudiantes en, en las prácticas. Um, hello Tim, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Uh, we would like to ask you a few questions. So, um, the first question will be, uh, what does the, the body adjustment mean to you? Uh, to me, the uh, body adjustment represents um, a treatment uh, approach which um, is completely holistic and it represents um, a, both a diagnostic as well as a, a treatment modality which is based on very simple principles, uh, predominantly the idea that we can um, use subtle long levers and fulcrums to, uh, 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 um, to treat patients um, in a very integrative way, but at the same time provide us with a means of uh, creating quite a comprehensive um, diagnostic uh, criteria within our treatment. Um, it's based on um, well-established biomechanical principles which were uh, researched and developed um, based on writings of Little John uh, and um, endorsed by John Wollum and, and, and Tedward Hill. Um, and uh, the modality is dis designed to cre create both a mechanical but also a neurophysiological um, aspect to our treatment and um, particularly uh, can help with um, uh, integrating the neurophysiology of the body um, with respect to the management of a major quite a considerable um, collection of um, disorders or conditions um, varying from um, the application towards asthma to uh, patients presenting with atrial bowel. And again, um, I'd like to emphasize that it's not a um, treatment approach which is based on a recipe, which is quite often related to, and it's different to um, the other modalities which have a similar type of approach. We um, work with the idea of um, creating structural integrity within the spine, working with modalities which influence the um, actual segmental nutrition to the spine and also encourage a normal physiological balance and homeostasis within the body too. Um, and there are certain aspects of the body adjustment which work in a certain sequence for a certain reason and um, when that approach is applied on a very subtle and gentle way it has quite a profound effect on um, the patient's uh, physiology and well-being and uh, has a particular significant effect on um, mediating uh, stress but also dealing with um, all aspects of constitutional uh, conditions within the patient. So once again it's applicable to the newborn which uh, presents with uh, anything from a comparatively uh, uh, simplistic torticollis to a col um, colitis condition through to um, motoric and um, developmental uh, dis 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 dysfunctional uh, conditions that we see. Okay, that is a great explanation mm -hmm. of body adjustment. It sounds really good. Within the body adjustment, um, there is one uh, 
position mm -hmm. that we normally use, which is called oscillations. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the, the reasoning the, the behind oscillation in prone position? Um, prone position is, um, again, one component of the body adjustment. And um, the prone position allows us to start to address the um, inherent articular quality of the, the regional um, portions of the spine. Uh, it specifically uh, addresses the, uh, the reintegration of uh, respective mechanical principles that we have uh, in terms of uh, what we call spinal arch mechanics, but at the same time it deals with, most importantly, uh, the vascularization of the spinal cord, decongestion of the spinal cord, and actually uh, restoring the intricate uh, oscillatory axes of each segmental vertebra to restore um, its functional mobility, but at the same time reduce the stress that we quite often occurs within the actual uh, 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 intervertebral discs themselves. But it's also physiological in its nature. We have a specific uh, regional analysis of the spine, and when we approach oscillation, we uh, utilize again this mechanical and neurophysiological uh, concept where we actually deal with appealing to the uh, Vascularization, not just the cord, but also natural segments and their respective uh, uh, autonomic innovation to the viscera of the body. Um, also, it's used to um, reintegrate and maintain the stability of the spine. And we link to the biomechanical principles again, we're utilizing the uh, tensile and, in some respects, the tensegrity structures within the spine, and the oscillation helps us to re establish the. Uh, normal parameters of uh, spinal mobility, as well as um, dealing with uh, coordination of various uh, uh, circulatory and visceral symptoms and cavity relationships and fascial relationships of the body too. That's, that's very good, thank you. Um, so I gather from, from uh, what you say and uh, the word oscillation, mm. uh, rhythm mm -hmm. is an important yes. aspect to, to the whole treatment of, yeah. of the patient. As again, um, as I'm trying to emphasize, the body adjustment routine is, is a diagnostic protocol, not just purely a treatment protocol. Oscillation um, allows us to um, have a um, perception of restriction within the spine, but also the tissue expression of um, certain uh, disturbances associated with what we call somatic dysfunction or, or lesion patterns within, within, within the spine itself. And as we apply oscillation, we're looking for subtleties in the nature and changes in the nature of the biomechanical rhythm and integral rhythm of the spine. Um, and quite often we can use that as a criteria to analyze the nature of the dysfunction that we find in the spine. And actually we use it as, as a, again, a diagnostic uh, criteria to encourage um, um, the formulation of the treatment rationale within the patient, within the context of the body adjustment too. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Tim. And the last question we would like to, to ask uh, Tim, that you've been involved so much with us in, in the Spanish uh, Institute. What, why, uh, what do you think what, uh, the students coming to do this uh, postgraduate course in, in classical osteopathy, what do they get from the course when they finish? I think once they're finished they will become familiarized with um, the potential of the body adjustment routine that we, we, we emphasize within the, the core aspect of the, of, the, of the course material and also have a more comprehensive um, understanding of the writings of Little John and his um, in relationship to Still but also uh, the development of ideas where we look at the total lesion concept not just purely a regional uh, um, con concept of, of treatment but a whole integral concept of treatment and I think it also adds to their toolbox of their existing uh, th um, approach that they use, but hopefully at the end of the day we'll also encourage them to uh, develop um, a, a slightly different approach to the, 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 the treatment that they give and, and, and perspective of their treatment that they give uh, patients. Um, again, also a wider um, uh, uh, application to, to, to not just m uh, musculoskeletal conditions, but our actual constitutional and physiological uh, uh, conditions that we see. So again, from the management of asthma through to irritable bowel, through to hypertension, through to um, uh, treatment, treatment of uh, multiple sclerosis, for example. Of course, we have to be aware of our limitations.
situations and the nice thing about the, the routines and the course is that it also makes us very humble and also aware of, of how far we can develop with our, within our, the scope of our practice. Um, it also adds to the scope of the potential of what osteopathy really was and is and as continues to be in relationship to the writings of John Martin Little John and the whole concept of treating the body as a physiological entity and the fact that um, um, most disease co concepts have a specific origin and when you look at the writings, extensive writings of Little John a lot of the actual approach to treatment can be applied within the context and the framework of the body adjustment itself. Again, I want to stress it is not a recipe approach. Every treatment is individually um, tailored to the patient's needs based on their presenting symptoms. Of course, there's clinical screening that we have to do, um, appropriate red flags for appropriate uh, intervention if needed. But uh, the, the treatment is really integrative and very holistic. Um, and it feels very much to uh, more the physiological aspect of the body's, patient's body's constitution. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. We would like to, um, the last thing, to recognize you, you mm -hmm. the, the, the way you help the Institute Thank you. with a uh, present. Mm -hmm. okay. ah, That's uh, for you. We are on the on the TE hall table. Yes, it's existing table. memories, and uh, this is uh, for you. Thing. Wow! Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Well, great. It's really, really, really wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much for this. Thank, thank you. you.